Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video we will see how to get started with Raspberry Pi. This will include how to prepare SD card for Raspberry Pi, how to enable SSH on headless Raspberry Pi, how to set up Wi-Fi for headless Raspberry Pi and how to start VNC server. We can use any version of Raspberry Pi. I will be using Raspberry Pi model 3B. Again we will need SD card. It's better to have a 8GB or more. Go to the Raspberry Pi website to download the SD card flasher tool. I have shared the web address in the description. Now let's download the tool which will write the OS on the SD card. So this is the tool which will download the selected OS. Here is the SD card and write on the SD card. So now insert the SD card and we will install the tool and we will start the tool. Select the required OS, select the memory card and click on write. Again click on yes. This will take couple of minutes to download the OS and to write the OS and again later to verify the SD card. Now click on continue. Now SD card is ready with installed OS. Now we will enable the SSH so that we can access the Raspberry Pi terminal from other PC using SSH. Open the boot partition folder from SD card. Create one empty file and give the name as a SSH. This empty file with name SSH will, will enable the SSH. Now we will configure the Wi-Fi so that Raspberry Pi will get connected to the Wi-Fi after boot up. Create the file with name wpasupplicant.conf and paste the following lines. Change the Wi Fi name here. Change the password here. And save the file. You can change the country code in the Wi Fi script and you can refer this link for your information. I have shared the link in the description. Go to the Apple's website to download the Bonjour tool. I have shared the web address in the description. Now we will install this tool to connect the Raspberry Pi via SSH using Raspberry Pi host name. If you install this tool, then we don't need to know the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Just with the host name you can connect to the SSH. Now remove the SD card from laptop and insert it to the Raspberry Pi. Quickly I will add the Raspberry Pi case for safety purpose. Now we will open the putty and enter the Raspberry Pi host name like this and click on open. Now click on accept. Enter the username as a Pi and, and enter the password as a Raspberry. And here you go, you got the access to the Raspberry Pi's terminal. We can configure the Raspberry Pi using Raspberry Config tool. Open the Raspberry Config and you can see the options available. First we will start the VNC server on the Raspberry Pi. Click on yes to enable it. Now we will change the password. Here you can change the host name. Now we will just go through the available options in the Rasp config. Now let's check for the IP address so that we can connect to the Raspberry Pi using VNC client. Go to the real VNC website to download the VNC client. I have shared the web address in the description. 
now let's download and install the VNC client Now we will enter the Raspberry Pi IP address into VPN client address bar. Press enter. Press continue. And now enter the Raspberry Pi username and password. After that click on OK. And this is your Raspberry Pi's desktop. And here you go. And this is the desktop of Raspberry Pi. One more thing I want to share here is provide the sufficient power to the Raspberry Pi while powering it. Or else you will get this warning whenever there is a less power source from power supply. Complete the initial setup and we will check the performance of Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos.